This is Andy Purewell for Boxing News. I'm joined by Jamie TKV here in Harlow, Essex. Jamie, firstly, how are you? I'm all good, I'm all good. I'm glad to hear it. Um, obviously, we just had a brief chat there off camera. Waiting for news with regards to yourself. What can you tell everybody? What's the latest with your next outing, hopefully? Hopefully, I'll be fighting uh, within the next two months. I will definitely have a fight date soon, but within the next two months, you'll definitely see me out. What are you looking at in terms of opponents? Who's in the frame for a potential fight? Anyone. Anyone they put in front of me, anything that makes sense, anything that's right, I'll take. The heavyweight division domestically stacked with so many great fighters. Obviously, in the gym, you have Fabio Wardley and Anthony Joshua. Um, I know AJ's above domestic level, but you know what I'm saying, just British fighters. Is there anybody who stands out for you in terms of those British names who you feel like you might not be far off from potentially facing? Um, I think everyone can fight each other whenever they want to be honest, so it's not like we're far from each other. Everyone fight, can fight each other. But um, there's, the, the, the good thing about the, the British crop right now is that there's a lot of talent there. So I'm really, I'm really happy to be amongst like, all the great talents coming up right now. Obviously, you've got the one loss on your record as well. Is that something which you feel like in the near future you want to try and put right? Of course, I'm going to put that right sooner than later. Trust me. How much do you feel like you learned from that fight? I learned a lot. It's silly mistakes, but... Those are the mistakes that will make me better for the next for, for the next time I fight or for my career in the long term, if that makes sense, yeah. Obviously, you're in a stack gym, a lot of talented fighters here and a lot of people who are in great journeys. What's it like being in and around so many fantastic fighters? How much do you feel like you're learning from everybody who's walking through uh, the gym doors? Do you know, I've, I've been here for like since 2021 so i've been in my whole career and uh well, my whole pro career and i've seen people come and go i've seen a lot of talents you know we had um obviously josh taylor was one of the the, the big guys when i first come here he was obviously the guy um but we've seen a lot i've seen a lot of people come and go not a lot but a lot of talent i've left and gone on to still do good things but um it's just good to see people recognizing how good um, the gym is, the trainers are, you know. So um, it, I'm, I'm just happy to see everyone coming over here and thriving and doing very well. That's the main thing I'm happy about. So it's, 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 it's very good that I'm, I'm here. That's the main, I'm happy that I'm here. What stands out for you when you look at Ben, Lee and Barry? What makes them such a unique and successful team in your eyes? They study the game and they know a lot about the game. They put in a lot of work studying the game. They don't just know the game they really study the game and it's not like um i don't know it's, it's it's hard to put it in words but they're very special with how they do it they do things different you know and it's only right that that they do and their methods clearly work as you've seen with people's performances that come out of this gym so yeah it's just great methods studying breaking down things how they break down but not to give too much away but what they do makes sense. As I said earlier on, you're one of two other heavyweights, or three of you all together, who are in this um, gym currently off the top of my head, unless I'm missing somebody. Um, Fabio Wardley fights on Sunday night against Fraser Clark. Has Fabio been looking what goes down in his headline heavyweight title fight? I've, I've been helping Fabio with sparring. You know, sparring's been really well. He's, he's, he's sharp, as always. I feel like Fabio will be a problem on the night. <laughs> I feel like um, Fraser's not going to expect the power that Fabio has with his hands and especially with 10 ounce gloves uh, like Fabio might do a lot of damage so we've got to see but obviously I'm not underestimating Fraser Fraser's a very very good boxer um, tough big guy you know what I'm saying so it's not like he's going to come over and lay over he's, come, he's coming to win and take Fabio's head off as well so you can't take him lightly and obviously his skill set He's, he's, he's experienced, you know, he's, he's fully aware. Uh, do you know what? It's, it's going to be a tough 50-50 fight, but I think the early rounds, just like I said before, early rounds going to be Fraser. The later rounds is going to be Fabio, but I feel like Fabio probably takes it, well, takes Fraser out late. It's a 12-rounder at the end of the day. That's a lot of rounds for. To be honest, I, I, Fabio takes it late. Just put it that way, let me because I'm going back and forth on this question. 
Um, Jamie, obviously, the other man's Anthony Joshua. Again, since he's teamed up with Ben and Lee, we've seen two standout performances, one against Ottavolin and then Francis Ngannou. What do you feel like they've been helped to bring out of and nurture into Anthony Joshua? Just the basics. It's what he's done before. Like, it's, it's, it's nothing new. As we... Like, as we've always known AJ to do what he does, he's doing it now. It's just that before, I guess, there was other trainers working on the things that they feel would probably better. AJ probably working on different technical stuff. But what Ben and Lee Wiley and Barry, they do, they just keep, keep him doing the basics. And the basics, nothing beats the basics. Nothing beats a simple jab. Knowing when to use the, 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 the jab. Knowing how to time certain shots, how to counter. Like... As you can see, AJ's countering is sharp at the moment. Everyone's talking about his countering, but tell me how he won his first world title. Was a was a counter, a slip right hand counter. So it's something that he always does. So they brought him back to the basics, and it's it's working. You know, he didn't need to go away from what he was doing before. So it's that's it. I know you shared some rounds with him in the build-up to the Ngannou fight. What can you tell me about those and reflect on that experience for me, please? Um, it was great. <laughs> you know what? I enjoyed camp with him. It was fun, you know. Um, yeah, I'll catch you later. Um, yeah, it was fun. You know, we had a good time in sparring. Like, probably some of my best um, fun spars. Take it. Um, yeah, I just really enjoyed the spar. He enjoyed it too. And it was a... Because uh, obviously I came in the last two weeks of camp. And um, I was doing a lot of rounds with him anyway. But AJ was sharp and strong. But I just had... We, had fun. It was a. F it was fun. He had fun. It was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah. In both spas, did you see the developments in AJ? Oh, of course. Cause there's it. I sparred him when he was with um, Derek James in America. I sparred him. Obviously, I was in camp with him twice for the, for the, um, Jermaine Franklin and Dylan White camp. Obviously, got changed to, Helena. So, um, yeah, there was a clear difference. I could see that everything was a bit more calculated than before. Um, very, very dangerous, so I had to be very cautious too. So I just had to be on point. He seems to have brought that sense of like, fearlessness back in amongst his work. Do you, do you sense that, that he's going into the ring now somewhat with bad intentions? The thing is, I don't think AJ was scared from before. So it's not like he's bringing back fearlessness or whatever, but... What I think is, he's confident. That's the difference. He's very confident and he believes in what Ben, Lee Wiley are teaching him. You know what I'm saying? He believes in that. That's what's giving him the confidence to do what he does. You know what I'm saying? To perform the way, the way he's doing. So I just feel like he's going to be three-time world champion again from the way he's going. So I'm excited. And the way he's moving, I think he probably added three to five more years to his career, to be honest. So we'll be seeing AJ a lot more. Right, Jamie, listen, I appreciate your time now. I'm going to leave you to shoot off. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for speaking to me. I'm sure I'll catch you about soon. Thank you. Thank you for your time.